interested in what's going on in contemporary culture, and I try to sort of keep my eye on where the trends are heading and distill down some of those basic design elements that I'm seeing around me into an abstracted version of those things. What if I could distill all that stuff down into some kind of design language? It's not so specific that you would say, ah, that's a sneaker, or that's the door of a Lamborghini, or anything that specific, but your mind can kind of imagine some of those things. But it's a little more vague and a little bit less tangible. My name is Trygva Fasti, and Trygva is a Norwegian name. I'm interested in the art design intersection, but conceptually there's this invisible divide between design and art, and for whatever reason, people on either side are slightly wary of crossing that. The pieces on the wall behind me are called protoform paintings, and they're the idea of a prototype, something that is experimental, something you might um, do in product design, and then there's the illusion of form as well, so that there's an interplay, and that's what I, why I call them uh, protoforms. When I'm designing the canvas shape itself, I don't worry about what the painting is going to be like. I just try and find a shape that I feel like would be exciting to play with. The other pieces on the wall I call proto-structures because they're sort of talking a little bit more about structure. Each one has a number and a color, and the color will never be repeated on that number. So in that way, they're kind of like an addition, and they're all unique. I was really excited that a piece of functional design could be in the show, because I think aesthetically some of the ideas kind of go together. And I was able to work collaboratively with my wife, Jessica Swanson, who does ceramic work. There are these sort of forms, and the idea is that there's these holes cut through the table. And then there are these sort of interchangeable vase elements. Like this one, it's a little vase on one side, and then you flip it over, and it's like a little pinch jar for salt or something like that. We just wanted to do something playful that integrates ceramics, furniture, and a little bit of design and art together in a playful, interactive way. How do you figure out a title that might capture the spirit of these things that are not fully objects and they're not fully structural, but they allude to all of those things? I chose the form elusive, like illusion-based, because they're paintings and they're not fully structural or dimensional. But I also like the idea that they're a little bit elusive as well, because they're hard to pin down.